with 48 Hours TV and on our couch we are joined by the CEO of the Cape Town International Convention Center, Rashid Tofi. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, lovely to be here. Congratulations, 10 year celebration for the CTICC. Oh, can you believe it? I, I, I don't think Cape Townians can imagine Cape Town without the CTICC, you know, so I think in many respects CTICC has transformed physically the, the front end of the city but also in, it's put Cape Town on the map um, in a way that people underestimate, I think. You know, it's really become the, the de facto place for meetings in mm -hmm. the whole of Africa. And yeah, it's been great to be part of a success story. Now, a great thing for me is when you're driving into the city, you either see the welcome sign or welcome to Cape Town or who's coming up. And you've got all those billboards that, that have changed. They were first non-electronic and now yes. you've got the electronic ones. We like the physical stuff, I yeah. must say, but we needed to go this route. It's a lot easier. But yeah, I mean, we do 500 events a year, so, we, wow. so when you drive past there on any given day, there are three or four events, literally 24-7, 365, so there's a lot of stuff happening. I, I think people underestimate how much of that's local. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do 40 international conferences a year, but of our 500, the other 460 are South African local exhibitions, product launches, so it's, it's very relevant to Cape Town and that's what's special about it, yeah. Now 500 events a year, conferences a year, how do you keep the ball rolling and the momentum going? Oh, well, it's, <laughs> we have this team of people, I think, that, that believe in something, a, a big audacious goal, and that's to be the world's best long haul convention center. There really is this sense of, of wanting to be the best of the best. Mm. We have, there, there, there's a passion, there's, there's almost what I call is the language of CTICC. When you walk around the place, people, you can unashamedly just want to strive for excellence. Because the thing is people, pay money to be there, we, we don't do free, and I've got this belief that things are either free or fantastic, and it's not free, and therefore it's got to be fantastic. So people come there, you pay good money to be there, and you've got to blow them away. And so, yeah, I think people are just driven, I've never seen a group of staff and people who are there around the clock, people simply love working there, and I think that's been a big addition to the success, is that the people who really make it happen ultimately. What has been some of the highlights over the past 10 years? You know, I love it when, you know, World Economic Forum comes into town yes. because the heads of state are in town. But the FIFA final draw for me was quite special, you know, David Beckham, Charlize Theron, or, or just the thought that second to the final of the World Cup it was the most televised event. And this was not only in my continent, in our country, in our city, but in our centre, mm -hmm. in Cape Town. So, very special. And then Sepp Blatter said to me afterwards, like literally in a one-on-one, -on -one, he said to me that after this, they could never put the FIFA final draw in any event other than one that's this world class. And that was wow. just such a nice feeling, you know. And then in addition to that, I mean, you do, the one conference I remember in 2010 as well, actually, was, um, it, was it was a world religious conference, but 6,000 people from around the world, from all corners of the world, all denominations, all meeting on this platform that is Cape Town mm -hmm. to make sort of life-changing decisions for the world, you know, and, and that for me is special. So, so from that to jazz festival that's in its 10th year to you know Jamie Oliver coming to food and wine I mean there's just there's been endless highlights I think over the years I don't know what, what was your highlight do you mm, remember anything well, my, my special? first gig when I moved to Cape Town in the first month I actually emptied an event at okay, TTICC cool. so special memories and and walking the ramp at fashion week did you actually so, on the yes, ramp yes yes oh, so okay. cool. and I know that you're ahead you guys are going to be incredibly busy with with lots of things happening I know fashion week's coming back there yeah but what are some of the things happening behind the scenes well it's a bit like you know you know how a duck looks very smooth on the surface and pedals away <laughs> furiously I mean, be behind the scenes we we have 150 staff but we in, in a given year CTICC creates 7,000 work opportunities mm. across the country. Wow. And I think people don't underestimate the number of suppliers, the number of little women-owned businesses, small micro-businesses, black-owned businesses that contribute to the success. Mm. So for me, what happens behind is the story of the, the economic spin-off and the job creation that is being created while you're putting on your fabulous event. Yes. And I'll give you an example. We, the other sort of ramp model we do is when we have, um, first time ever we hosted um, two years ago, a yearling sale, mm -hmm. which is horses, magnificent horses, Jeez. basically down a ramp, and we have spotlights on it and everything. And these guys are bidding two, three million rand a horse. The, the Rupert's all sitting mm -hmm. there serving food, so you know there's like no pressure. Uh, <laughs> but but what what that takes is building stables. You have to house the the stable hands. You have to feed the horses. You've got to bear in mind that the smells of the horses affect the other events. So mm -hmm. it's this continual 
yeah, you're running a moving target. And but ultimately, it's about creating exceptional experiences. And I think CTICC has shown that in the last decade, we've we've transformed people's lives, but through creating exceptional experiences. And what does the future hold for CTICC? Any well, changes? Well, some, there's some big ambitious plans, again, to be the world's best long haul convention center. We really need to be bigger, believe it or not. We, we're still, wow. we're a boutique convention center. I don't know if you can imagine <laughs> no. this, but we're, we've got 10,000 square meters of mm. exhibition cent space, and the Frankfurt Exhibition Center has 200,000. Wow. So it's sort of, you know, from here to Salt River. <laughs> it's just ridiculously big. It has two, two tube stops. So mm. we're not going to be that big but we're actually going to double the size of the convention center. So believe it or not, on that space up towards Artscape. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to see is we've, you're finally going to see the, the foreshore closing out and you'll get this continuous building running from CTICC over Adley Street, Jerengracht, through all the way through to where Artscape is. And you'll literally be able to, I just picture a future where a delegate doesn't need a car or a bus, comes in on the IRT, mm -hmm. which are some of the amazing legacies for me of the World Cup. Mm -hmm. You know, we can, Bitch about the stadium, but really, <laughs> this city needs like world-class infrastructure Absolutely. and the transportation we have. Even the stadium. I think if you want a world-class convention center, you need those other infrastructures to to be in place. Mm -hmm. So the future is, I think, Cape Town being one of the world's top ten destinations to have meetings, and hopefully, you know, all hotels and everyone benefiting from that from that influx of foreign exchange and international visitors. Roshi, thank you so much for joining us. Please you. congratulate your team as well, because I know it's the hard work of the whole team at the CTICC over the last 10 years for the great success. And we look forward to watching what the future holds. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you there, either on the ramp or <laughs> behind the scenes, but it'll be lovely to have you back. Absolutely. Thank Cheers. you so much. Thank you very much. much. Stay right where you are. You're with 48 Hours TV.